physical therapy as a career. So what do physical therapists do? Physical therapists perform diagnostics and routine exams for each one of their patients. They do this in order to establish baseline or standards that they build upon so that they can prescribe effective exercise programming for each one of their patients. Physical therapists care for their patients. For example, you could see a five-year-old and a 95-year-old, one right after the other, and you need to be able to understand what they need. And also, you need to be able to effectively communicate what you as a physical therapist want them to do. Physical therapists also record everything because if you do not record every interaction you have with a patient, then as far as the law and insurance is concerned, that interaction never happened. And on the flip side of that, if you ever were to get into legal trouble with a patient, then you would need that record, that hard reference of what actually happened during that interaction in order to clear the air. As a physical therapist, you also develop professional relationships. This is not only limited to your customers, but can also include other local physical therapists, other occupational therapists, or other doctors alike. Now that you know what a physical therapist does, what are some of the skills that you need in order to become a physical therapist? Well, firstly, you need to be able to comprehend a vast array of medical terminology and skills. Some of the skills needed could include goniometry, which for example, we have a goniometer on the infographic. Skills could include doing blood pressure assessments, heart rate assessments, or neuromuscular rehabilitation as a whole. And understanding medical terminology is vital not only to your own record keeping, but also to understanding patients, reports, and referrals that you're going to receive from other doctors during your time as a physical therapist. Physical therapists must also be an active and critical thinker. You need to be able to think clinically and critically for each patient and each patient's individualized situation to prescribe an effective and efficient exercise program. Physical therapists must also be socially and orally accommodating. You need to make your patients feel as though they are welcomed and make them feel as though their time is being well utilized. And that goes right into being service oriented. As a professional, you are not a gym. You're not going to put a patient on an elliptical for 30 minutes, especially if their whole session is only 45 minutes. You're going to actively work with that patient as much as you can in order to get the most out of your setting and out of your session and to make them feel as though their time is being well utilized. So now that you know what a physical therapist does and what are some of the skills you need in order to fulfill those roles, what does a physical therapist earn? Well, on average, a physical therapist earns $97,720 annually. And there's a very high career growth rate of 9% or higher for this calendar year. And there's also 13,900 job openings for this current calendar year. In the middle of the infographic, you'll see a graphic that shows the annual mean wage of physical therapists by a state-by-state -state basis for this current year. As you can see, in some of the more industrialized states, the wages are higher, but that is the same across all occupations, especially in regards to more rural states. So what can you do as of right now to become a physical therapist? Well, you can start by shadowing local physical therapists or also becoming a physical therapy technician. In doing this, you can explore the wide realm that is physical therapy and dive into what you specifically are interested in and what you want to specialize in. And a physical therapy does require an undergraduate degree as well as a doctorate degree. So while you're pursuing your undergraduate degree, you need to maintain a 3.0 GPA, especially across the physical therapy prerequisites like physics one and two, chemistry one and two, biology one and two, and psychology. You also need to develop connections. You can do this with your professors, with other students interested in physical therapy, and also while you're shadowing with some of the patients, you can communicate with the patients. You can reward the, reward the patient's loyalty, keep the patients informed, and also always make each interaction more beneficial to the patient. And finally, you need to go to a doctorate of physical therapy program after completing your undergraduate degree in order to graduate from that program to become a fully licensed physical therapist. Thank you.